We are opposed around the world by a monolithic and ruthless conspiracy. Hey, welcome to Conspiracy Dummy, that conspiracy podcast that frees your mind one puff at a time. I am your Royal Highness Double D. Joining me on this reefer madness of a podcast, my fellow jokers, smokers, and midnight tokers. Up first, the space cowboy, JC. Yo. Yeah, what's up? Let's roll it. Like that shit, roll that shit, smoke it. Yeah, and back for the first time, Justin. What's up, homie? Hey, hey back like I never left. How we doing? How we doing? The iron lung. <laughs> And last but not least, the guy on the couch. All right, it's about that time. Let's get it going. I mean, it is 420 somewhere. Yeah, it's always 420 somewhere right around this time. All right, but yeah, and um, also I'm going to probably be dropping this on 420, the herbivore holiday for stoners celebrated worldwide now, right? Am I correct? It seems like that's a pretty, like, even you're on dating profiles, like you go on Tinder or you go on, like, Hinge or even, like, you know, whatever it is, they'll say, like, 420 friendly. Oh, You're like, yeah. oh, so that means like they smoke weed. That's and shit. what's up. Yeah, man. You guys know the origin of 420? No. It's like Hitler's birthday, too, right? Oh, man, that's shit. Only yeah. I don't know about that, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's the only thing I ever know about Secretly? it. Secretly. school, they were like, yeah, man, it's National Weed Day. And then, you know, it's like Hitler's birthday. So oh, like, oh, fuck. Just to put that juxtaposition in there, you know? It's a buzzkill, huh? <laughs> <laughs> wonder if Hitler ever smoked weed. Well, that, and you know, it started, Did I guess, a, lot of drugs, a group shit. of friends, bro. Um, they were called the Waldos and shit. This happened in California back in probably the 70s or something. They used to meet up at their school around 420 and next to the statue, bro, to blaze one for the nation. So just some random high school kids? Yeah, man. some random high school kids, man. Fucking coined See, that term. Who says Who says he can't change the world, man? You know, he could be anybody, man. Uh, for real, for True. real. When's the first time you guys fell in love with Mary Jane? <laughs> I'm in love with Mary Jane. It happened like like that movie, uh, Half Bake, where he was like, yeah. yeah, it was me and my friends. Uh, they were all like kind of like the same age. And they were like smoking. They were smoking like uh, whatever it was they were, but they, they were fucking high as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and it was like me and my friend Alex. Oh, yeah. They're all levitating in the living room. We were like, <laughs> I might as well. Like, I remember thinking about it. We had like a, I guess he had got some like um, herb from his brother. And he was like, all right, we're going to try this. And so he rolled up a, um, basically like a foil pipe. A little foily? A oh, foily. So I gross. I remember that. So gross. I know y'all remember that. And so. Oh, yeah. So gross. It was like burn. You know what I mean? It was like that piney, like burn you were like oh my god like fresh fresh lungs and like it was just like fire and then even instantly instantly <laughs> fucking feeling like the rush to my head like holy fucking shit i know me too man i remember smoking in the ditch bro and there's trees in this ditch <laughs> and i would fucking see like i thought i saw the predator you know what i mean he has that camouflage <laughs> shit, <dude. laughs> okay. i thought i saw something like that jumping to tree to tree man Man, yeah, I, I think back on it. I'm trying to think, like, you know, it's such a culture around it. I feel like I knew I was going to like weed before I ever even tried it. Mm-hmm. It was like, you know, yeah. like, just because of movies and just like the, 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 you know, the attitude around it. it was like, absolutely. I was saying, dude, I was skateboarding. I was, you know, trying gnarly stuff all the time. So I was like, yeah, it was, it was a natural progression, I guess. And then, of course, you know, Seth Rogen, man, Pineapple Express. Pineapple like, Express, oh, yeah. Got to shout that one out, man. That's one of my favorite movies still. That's what I was going to ask. What's Name some fucking classic Shh, stoner man, movies, man. We could man. be here for days. Well, okay, so, like, Dazed and Confused, like, uh, like you know. And that's classic. a Texas classic. A Texas classic. Straight up in Austin, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> he's, running, he's running for governor, man. That's wild. See, he said you can't get nowhere, man. And then that fool, like, literally said, like, do you have a joint or something like that? Didn't he say? He's like, like, no, if you did. <laughs> an iconic, iconic like, line. So many quotables, huh? Right. And then um, we got Fast Time at Richmond High. Yeah. Cheech and Chong, oh, bro. How did I, yeah, how did That's funny. the one that was like, I, re, I used to those films, recite. Yeah. I used to recite those like kind of like the 
where he's like, I think I'm parked, man. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, am I driving okay? <laughs> He's first like, am I driving? He's like, I think we're parked. parked bro. <laughs> man, I never smoked no shit like that before, man. <laughs> Does Howdy Doody have wooden balls? He's man? like, you want to get high, man? He's like, Does Howdy Doody got wooden balls, man? <laughs> but the funny part, the funny part of that movie was that, uh, I mean, of that like first scene was that he was like, hey, man. He's like, I got some Labrador. He's like, man, I smoked, I smoked, been smoking since I was born, bro. He's like, I smoked everything. I smoked that Acapulco gold. I smoked the fucking tight stick. And he's like, tight stick, tight stick. He's like, yeah, yeah that shit that's tight to a stick. Bro, Damn. ahead of their time on that one. He's bro. like, I oh, can yeah. smoke this whole joint. It wouldn't even affect me and shit. And so I, I bring that same energy to like. To like every new piece of weed I'm like I probably smoked this whole shit by myself yeah, That's another reason And then be like, floored yeah. Like two seconds later That's why it's so interesting man Cause you got so many different sides of the spectrum Like you know You got people using it for medicine now We got you know Hell All yeah. this controversy around This it. is true There's still You know we live in Texas One of the, you know, the most like penalized states around There's still mm -hmm. people Strictest, serving yeah. like time For like two joints in the 70s man For real You know getting caught on the UT campus Selling weed Have you guys heard of that story That dude Uh oh, oh no tell me Back in the 70s He was like some dude's Selling weed on the UT campus, man. He got caught with like two pre-roll joints, man. He was taking them to a party. Dude got like twenty-five to life. Wow. They were just slapping stuff down because it was a school. Like there was like all kinds of like regular. Like yeah. it was totally and it was in the seventies, so it was before the three strikes. That's, what I'm saying, man. That's before like, three strikes. Fuck that, bro. You know why that shit became illegal? Yeah, man. <clears throat> why the, war, they, the war on drugs, man. Yeah, why they made it illegal? Papa Nixon. Um. Yeah. Was, yeah, Nixon even said it himself, like that it was because you know the 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 blacks and stuff. I think he literally they, they said the blacks were doing heroin. Yeah, and the, Mexican, yeah. The, the, the Mexicans and the hippies were smoking weed. The hippies opposed the war effort. You know, mm -hmm. like, uh, yeah. Harry J. Yeah. Asslinger. He was the head of the Federal Bureau of Narcotics. Bro. Asslinger. 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 Yeah, that Asshole. was good, dude. In the 1930s, bro, he, he it in claimed head. that the majority of potheads were being used by minorities such as African Americans, Mexicans, and Asian. Because we're Agents smarter and, and shit. Yeah, and you know, that dude, so that dude probably came up around the time, if you think about it, of reefer madness. Yes, yeah, Because if he was, like, if yeah, he was like that age in the 60s to where shit. he was passing legislation, think yeah. about it, he must have grown up in the 30s and, you know, Reefer Madness was around in the 30s. So they had demonized it. It was already set up. He just took the stepping stone and was like, huh, we could politicize this somehow. Yeah. And at then the war was so, you know, politicized. And if you didn't agree with the war, basically you were a stoner hippie burnout. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, for real, man. And you had other people like, fuck it, what's his name? Uh, William Randolph Hearst and the Dude, Dude, you did your research. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. These fools, man, they fucking. Yeah, they, they joined forces, bro, the DuPont Corporation and Willard DuPont. Randolph first you know, to put an end to hemp, bro, because it was fucking fucking up nylon, copper, yeah, I mean, uh, and paper, paper cotton, and shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it's like the, the fucking marijuana, bro, it's the most versatile plant there is, it bro. Is. And not only that, but your body has already inside it cannabinoid mm -hmm. receptors. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. That only the thing that go in there is like cannabis. The fucking like you know, I'm no doctor. I don't know. I ain't no all, fucking doctor. I don't know if it's all good one yeah. way or the other. But you know, I, th I thought of something interesting, man. Isn't that something? You know, like we yeah. held back better technology. You know, isn't capitalism supposed to be like the like you know the the force behind the world that pushes everything forward? But mm -hmm. no, yeah. just because they demonized hemp so much, we had to use cheaper, worse products for so yeah, many man. years. Because so now think, years, of, think of all the hemp products we're using now. Exactly, There's and it's an explosion. And it's like. And it was where like, have these been for all? Yeah. Like this apparently has been here forever. We could have been making all kinds of shit, but no, that's for just, sure, I'm, dude. I don't know, just an underlined thing on capitalism. I, that's one of the main, one of the main things that I think about too was like the time we missed about that shit. You know what I mean? The and I have a theory about, and I have a theory too about why people either like you know prohibited it or illegalized it or it illegal. criminalized yeah. it or whatever. Yeah. You know, it's it is an, and it is about industry. You yeah. know what I mean. And and you saying capitalism, you know, is about like making money or or, or whatever, pushing but the game forward. I feel like yeah. there was generations of men, right, fools that like you know started industry, like you know steel, you know railroad, the buildings, yeah, man. you know the what I mean, construction. Yeah. Yeah. It was used for, for fabrics, houses. bro, <clears throat> for fucking medicine, uh, rope, textiles, biofuel. Uh, insulation, bro. This is right. back when they were putting freaking cocaine in their Coca Cola, exactly. too. And they're like, oh, no, demon weed. Those demon fools weed. were like, like making. Come on now. <laughs> they were making like real 
business industries, things that were like needed. And then their younger generations, their progeny or whatever, they were just like, how do I hold on to this shit the way it is? How do I hold on to this monopoly thing, you know, or whatever it was? How do I keep it the same? I'm just going to deregulate these things. I'm going to make this shit illegal. I'm going to lobby for to illegalize marijuana. And I'm, I'm going to put money for these fools to make, you know, a film about that. Well, it's kind of, oh, yeah. you know, it's, it's kinda, probably some shit you know like the, that. It was probably like some shit like that. You yeah. know, the, the first city to ban it was El Paso, Texas. No oh, damn. freaking way. For real, dude. And uh, shouts out. Shout, shout out. out. Yeah. Shout <laughs> out. El, El, El <laughs> yeah, man. Fuck that. Uh, June 14th. Yeah. June 14th, 1915. El Paso, Texas. It was the first city to ban weed. 1914, you said? Nin- 1915. 1915. June 14th, Damn. 1915. They said that like, somebody Mex- came Mexicans over. Mexicans were smoking weed. <laughs> yeah, well, around that time, right after the Mexican Revolution, bro, in 1910, people, were, immigrants were coming over here to work and Thank shit. Thank God for Mexicans, And they were bringing man. their this fucking, their wacky tobacco, bro, bringing the fucking, <laughs> making the party <laughs> started. Right. Yeah. This shit was just like, like, well, a, li- like a little bit stronger it grows version out of there, grass, bro. bro. It grows that, out that, there. Like, it, it, think about it. That stuff gives you. That's Reggie. Like if you brought that to a party nowadays, you were getting clowned. Exactly. <laughs> For you're sure. like, dude, what is this? I don't ever want to like smoke with you again. I had a headache last night. Like, no, like, but that stuff was like the bee's knees back then. Man. Yeah, like, dude. Wacky yeah. tobacco, man. I feel old even just saying that. <laughs> like, and this shit's been around for, dude, forever, man. Like you got it in ancient writings, bro. Like I the heard betas the. What are you gonna say? I heard that it was like some kind of Japanese emperor or something like that. Yeah, like yeah. Somewhere like he used to like the smell of it. That's what my friend um, Dennis. Um, shout out, shout out, to little out Dennis. That fool, like he that was like, Dennis. yeah, like it was like an emperor, like three hundred BC, Shang, it BC was, China or yeah, something well, like Shang, that, right? Shang Meng in twenty eight BC. Nah, twenty eight BC. Or, the yeah. first writings of the plant yeah, comes from the Chi- yeah, it comes from the Chinese the Materia Medica. Nice. Wow. Yeah, so, so they, they invented writing. They invented they fireworks. invented paper. <laughs> they invented oh, fireworks! Much everything, no, man, they were ahead of the game. They no, really. it's like an ancient, ancient culture. So, bro. so like even like so they say this. So, do you think that they actually smoked weed? That's the controversy because they used hemp. Because everyone says like, oh, George Washington had a bunch of hemp in his car and blah. But George Washington wasn't smoking weed, man. He, true. he just wasn't. You know what I mean? It's dude, like, I think, but no, all those none guys, of the facts say that. But the Chinese yeah. dude, they had like. Yeah. They were on some other stuff. You know, they were, like, seeing dragons and dancing all that. I don't know. This I don't is true. know, man. <laughs> the f- I think our founding fathers were all smoking weed. Because, like, the last four, well, not, I don't know about Trump and Biden, but the previous ones before them were smoking weed and admitted to smoking weed. Bill like, Clinton. When, George the, Bush. George Bush. Yeah, Obama. Was, yeah. Well, that's you more, like, I mean? modern era. You know what I mean? I, yeah. I guess I guess smoking weed has become a lot more You're talking about the forefathers, like. The beginning for forefathers, yeah, they were smoking weed. They had cash crops, bro. You know what I've always thought about? Just side note, just tangent. How many other substances and plants did people have to smoke before they found marijuana? I think that, <laughs> like, there's a lot of stuff out there to smoke that you could. For real. Because they were just probably, they had pipes and they were just like landing on islands like, oh, what is this shit? I don't know. Like, dude. Like, oh, yeah. For the natives, like, How many bro? people just yeah. croaked straight out because they smoked like the deadliest plant like in the Bahamas or something like that at the time? The original research and development. Let's trial, smoke this trial shit. Trial and error. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> the original. Like, no. But like, okay, okay, okay. D, it's like... It's like that scene in that movie, scary movie two, part two, where or I think it's in part part one where, <laughs> where the fool tokes it and he's like, oh, he's coughing, he's like, oh, 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 and he falls on the ground. He's like, oh damn! But I see my man choke like that. His back, and oh, he's foaming at the mouth, <laughs> and he finally kills over and he kills over and dies. And they're like, that's some good shit. Yo, pass that shit. Pass that shit. <laughs> Because how many times have you seen Man. somebody choke and you're like, oh yeah, that mm-hmm. must be some dangerous shit. And this That's fool's like, oh game. no, he really dead. Like, he- <laughs> no nah, man, like, yeah, lungs are lungs are sensitive. Dude. That's probably yeah. how I, they got. They probably everyone coughs, man. Like, especially like the, like first time you're gonna like green out, man. Cough for thirty minutes or so, especially with the caliber of stuff that's floating around today. Mm-hmm. You know, like a fourteen year old kid not knowing is like behind his railroad tracks. Like they're not getting the same shit they were getting back in the eighties. You could kind of oh, like no. it'd be a little, you know, high dressed home. Um, now you're just like boom and you're like Whoa. Oh, yeah, for real. <laughs> so you're in a different space man I, I feel bad for these young kids coming up with the little virgin lungs <laughs> if i could go back that'd be wild Ooh. shit yeah dude i mean that's yeah, kind of how me and danny came up dude. much man yeah just we weren't we weren't getting friends, like the, you know, going around causing trouble dude we weren't kid. like getting like the hardcore like you know 
Kush and we were nah, getting like hydro. Shit, you know what I mean? It wasn't even then. Right? I was just I was just talking about this the other day. The very first time I actually even bought weed, dude, I think it was like like eighth grade. I was so sketched about it. And it was mm-hmm. a freaking Nick sack. And you were five dollars. Like, yeah. Well, go, go to a kid today and be like, yo, let me get a dime. I'll be like, what the fuck are you talking about? And that's the thing, bro. <laughs> Do you think marijuana is a gateway drug? Nah. Well, no, like, get way like, to a good time. I mean, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, if you're gonna do drugs, you're gonna do drugs, man. Because if you want to talk about the biggest gateway drug for a lot of people, let's talk about some opioids, man. Ooh, let's talk about how many vets are coming real. back who have never done drugs, been straight and narrow. You know what I mean? They get stuck on these drugs and now they have nothing to cope. Go to alcohol, all that stuff. That that is dangerous. They're, stuff. they're that, not like they're bro, getting prescribed. You, know, that you shit. know, bro. We come from a service family, man. Mm-hmm. You, know, you know that stuff is it's it's real. It's dangerous. Yeah. Like, if you come back and smoke some weed, it's the same thing as like you know alcohol. It's the same. It's look. What is what is alcohol? We make it from plants, right? Wheat, barley. Yeah. You know hops. So we put that on. Well, why is that okay to make a substance out of? But you know, I'm not sure you can make else. fucking hemp beer. Dude, I mean, they're already doing all kinds of food. That's sure the thing. That's the thing. Like it's that. still a schedule, uh, schedule one, right, or schedule three. What is that's it? the What's thing. The bro, it's a scheduled one yeah, drug. You, you schedule one. They legally still can do no research on it. There's still so much yellow tape involved in doing research and this stuff. And when you're talking about people, you know, with PTSD and you know bipolar and all this other stuff, all these list of ailments that this potentially could help, and huh. capitalism and greed and well, all these all these corporate forces. It treats the, side the reason effects. why it's not helping them. Yeah, it treats the side effects Man, of like chemo. Like, is, come on you know all that stuff like the benefits like that you get like who, who the hell is to deny someone that that relief you know it's not me so i mean uh, you know we're not god no one's gonna tell them what to do and government at the end of the day is not there to you know control people it's there to you know collect the masses yeah exactly you know move things along really but yeah. i don't know i feel like that's why we're at such a crossroads now that we see because it's been it's been coming for a long time I totally agree. So you asked me if it's a gateway, man. You could. It just depends on what you start first. Alcohol is a gateway for a lot of people. From you know, for me, it was the first time I tried a cigarette. You know what I mean? Like I, you know, that's what I was doing at the skate park. We were you know just bad little kids. We're like, oh yeah, I stole some cigarettes from my mom, dude. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah super cool. Oh, cool. Shit, dude. That's how that shit you think started. About it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, fucking you popping think about little firecrackers it? and shit. It's cigarettes that are fucking the gateway shit. Oh, they're terrible. Yeah, they're terrible. Because like, okay, like the first candy, time. bro. Shit up sugar. All right. Yeah, that's there we the go. We might as well just break it back down. Right yeah, you're, no, I that's think, the start I think, of it. I man. think cigarettes. Shit, let's just brain, blame gravity. And shit. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that we breathe. Yeah. Let's breathe. Yeah, let's blame air and shit. No. Nah, uh, but like, what I was saying is like, I think it's not necessarily the weed, but it's like the feeling. You know what I'm saying? Like, the first, like, I'm sober, I'm taking a toke, and like, this substance is creating like a feeling of euphoria. That's the like that's the drug right there, if you ask me. It's not like the substance so much, but it was it's that feeling that's the drug. You know what I mean? Like the the, the yeah. first time you get that that nice high. Do you, you guys know what feel I'm like you about? get more creative? I do. Yeah, yeah I, I do I, definitely. Yeah. yeah. But so that yeah. that's yeah, you know, I mean that's one hundred percent solidified. Like I don't know, everyone you ask, like, do you get more creative? I was like, Yeah, man. Every time I, I I like to write, you know, I like to sit I like to write to myself and that, you know, even it's as a sweet spot. You don't wanna just be like it's the same with like drink a little bit of beer, you know, like all right, you're at the bar, you have two beers, now you know, you got a little bit of confidence, you're you're talking to everybody, but you're not drunk. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Same with weed. You know, yeah. people don't people don't put that thing like, Oh, you're getting stoned, you're getting hot. It's like, no, you're a little buzz. Like I feel really creative. Exactly. I, yeah. I feel generally happy. I wanna smile. I'm less anxious and stressed about yeah. my, you know, day and everything that's going More on. Chill. Like, yeah. 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 So I don't know. I think there's same with everything in life, man. There's there's moderation that, that comes to play. Yeah. As long as you use good moderation, you know. Um, that's Man. why legalization would help with that, you know, oh, yeah. <laughs> in so True. many ways. But that's why, like, like when people, like, they gateway into other, like, not to say that there's a gateway, but, like, you know, that experience, like I was saying, uh-huh. they so like, weed all of a sudden just, like, you know, it's not enough for them. And then they bump it up, like, let me try fucking, you know, some. So mo- how do you, how me, do you feel about, Molly like, all this concentrate, like, all, like, the stuff, like, dabs and chatter and whatever you name it i bro. think it's almost what do you feel about i mean that? I, I love it to be honest it is like a little <laughs> dangerous though because it's like the same it's like the same kind of like the same slippery slope of like man i'm smoking you know i'm smoking weed a lot uh-huh. you know what i'm saying i gotta like get i get either more concentrated shit more harder shit you know what i mean like it can't be like it's the moderation that mm-hmm. is uh-huh. the key obviously moderation the moderation even, is the key even moderation itself 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> moderation in moderation. People, people hate that. <laughs> in moderate time. Yeah, people hate that word. Alcoholics hate that word. Moderation. <laughs> no <laughs> shit. Right? No. I mean, you say it and it sounds corny when you say like moderation, but no. I mean, I think everything has a balance. Like, okay, let's ask you know, like, let's talk about the population of people who, like we said, are on all kinds of prescriptions and they're taking you know six, seven pills and that's their daily regimen. Oh, you know what I mean, just to get yeah. going. Yeah. Uh, and now you know you got people who are drinking these you know crazy you know bang energies that have like right know, wow. just shit yeah. packed in them and you know they're drinking that every freaking day. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, you, like I, I see people you know like my coworkers man, they're out there with a Red Bull. You cannot you won't catch those dudes without a coffee, an energy drink, something. Uh-huh. I can't you know stimulants man, they, they freak me out. I get like, my palms get sweaty like. Stomach hurts. I won't eat all day. It's, I cannot, yeah, I cannot a, get a trip, through a work yeah. day and drink a bunch of coffee. I do like coffee occasionally, but it's the same thing. It's like I wouldn't like you know toke a big ass joint, and go into work, and be like you know I'm gonna be fine. No, I wouldn't drink a big ass co- you know a cup of coffee. I guess. So it's all these other things that are available. It's just the coffee like, comes from beans, though. You know what I mean? Like well, you know, I which, mean caffeine which, and sugar. To maybe which in turn actually. comes from the earth. Yeah, you know and that's kind of like thing, thing. But stimulants and all those other things that you know help you be more productive and zipping all that. Those are drugs and amphetamines. Let's talk about amphetamines. How many people are you know their daily regimen yeah. is to pop an Adderall or you know a Vyvanse or one of those substitutes? You and know, now on that a daily it, basis, now that it's legal or some states are legalizing marijuana, right? How do you feel about big pharma stepping in and getting their little whatever cut of the shit? I think that's what they've been waiting for, bro. Dude. I think they've been like licking their fucking teeth and they're fucking like, you know, watching everybody kind of try and fail and try and fail at it. Yeah. And then they're going to come up with something so fucking like so sweet and juicy that they're going to fucking think it was they're going to convince people it was their idea the whole time bro Dude, and we, they're going to fucking like exactly. chop it's going to yeah. fucking chop the quality in half we live in a time and place and location where people are constantly trying to figure out how to monetize absolutely everything and if you think there hasn't been a big wig in some office thinking about how he can make money off of weed once it turns man for years plotting and scheming and shit but yeah. the way, the way I th- and I've thought about this a lot the way I think it should roll out man I think it should be kept like a local like you know like a, like a farmer's market type of thing like you go to like your, a farmer's market, like, you know, like yeah. your, lo- your local coffee shop, man. And they got exactly. this special type yeah. of coffee from this one place in, you know, Bolivia or whatever. And they draw little things on it. And so, you know, it's, it's designed to them. That's what's going to separate people now in the movie because it's going to be like they're, they're going to have a Walmart for weed events. Exactly. That was exactly yeah. what I was weed about maps. to say. Weed, weed Mart. Weed weed no, no. This no. is what, Mart. I guarantee this is I'm going I'm to call it right now. This is what I'm going to predict. You're going to be able to go like just like you pick up those like vape pens for like, you know, smoke, you know, like the 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 jewel or mm, or yeah. whatever uh, it's gonna be thc inside your your thing but oh, it's not gonna def- it's not just gonna be happen, yeah that'll it's gonna be from well. like you know johnson and johnson or something like that you know <laughs> what i mean remember, it's, gonna be, it's gonna be from like you know i don't know if anybody want anything from well that's what i'm saying that's what i'm saying a family company <laughs> Nah. Nah, See, I, you know the I get my THC pins for fucking Johnson and Johnson. Dude, so what, the only thing that scares me about that is because yeah, the quality will go down, and it's not gonna be like you know. Think about it. Who's gonna be? There's gonna be like a McDonald's of weed, and now you're just getting you know who knows what. What the fuck's in it, huh? But but and it's, it's gonna be like, come the new tobacco. And then there's gonna bro. be like a scandal. But the thing, but like, the thing oh. is, right now as it stands, you know what I mean? Like there's so many like I don't know. I guess the black market. You have those same risks, so it's, it's kind the of same hard. risk. It's the I, same risk. I'm on the oh, same, right. even more, maybe. I've been preaching the same thing for forever, and I've said it ever since I was a teenager. Because you know, I wasn't a teen. I was a teenager not that long ago, dude. I remember, you know, it mm-hmm. was always easier to get a bag of weed than it was to go get some beer. Oh, why? sure, yeah. You know oh, why? Yeah. Like if we all were partying or something like that, it was always yeah. like, yo, yeah, dude. I got like six people I can call for, you know, to grab some weed, dude. Like, what do you mean? Like, beer? Oh, shit. We're going to have to, you know, do you know anyone who's 21? Do you, you got a license? Like, no, I don't know. Someone needs, we need someone to do the truck with Walmart. Crazy ass. With the truck, yeah. With a <laughs> car. Yeah, it's something, like it, dude. With you know, ID. It, was, it was a process to get alcohol because then you had to find someone older and then you had to, like, go through that and, like, pay them 20 bucks or whatever it was. You know what I mean? And so, because it was regulated, because it was legal. And so people always say this, like, oh, we want teens using less drugs. Dude, make it legal. Like if you legal. federally legalize it, you put research into it, and you make it like a regular thing. Look at Colorado. I Colorado. Mean, dude, dude, speaking of Colorado, dude, they were saying that the 420 signs that are on I-70 were being stolen and shit. So the, <laughs> <laughs> so the Department of Transportation changed it to It's port- hanging in someone's bedroom right yeah, now. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. It's they, just a valiant claim. They're going to listen to this podcast and be like, yep, they're yep, going to take a look at know, it. <laughs> you know. And they changed it to 419.99. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking signs, bro. Hey, you been on fourteen point ninety nine, Rob, lately? 
<laughs> that shit's funny. Oh man, the the world is goofy sometimes, man. It's hilarious. Uh, what's you, you uh, know the word marijuana? They say it's an Aztec word. Marijuana. Marijuana. Yeah. Marijuana. From what I read, it said it meant prisoner. How many, so, how many terms can we spew off for how so, many So I mean, like, oh shit! Wait a minute, the right? Devil, the devil's oh, lettuce. Shit. The devil's lettuce. The fucking. We already hit wacky tobacco. Oh uh, shit! Let me see. Oh, we're gonna blank out. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> like purple punch, the ganja, ganja. That's a good one. Yeah. That loud, loud. Like the, the, the kid good, good. Like that loud man, calm down. Yeah. One brick, two brick, three brick pyramid, bro. They said that the pharaoh they found, uh, Pharaoh Ramses the second, was uncovered and they had traces of marijuana in the, inside the remains. Wow. And they found other mummies like that as well. Well, okay, I read something like a while ago. So it might have been too long for me to like remember accurately, but that they didn't even really use marijuana for a while to describe, you know, weed or or what, what was like the what's the like the cannabis cannabis, 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 cannabis yeah, cannabis, yeah. In, in a way to describe mm-hmm. cannabis to, you know. Make it seem like it was a minority thing, like it was a Mexican well, that's thing. Well, they used as yeah, marijuana. Uh-huh. They didn't oh, know it was the man. same you know shit, what? bro. You're probably, yeah. right. It was like a plot. It was like a and they like used a to spell with an yeah. H. Yeah, they used to spell with a damn H to make it look more foreign. No, right, yeah, man. I mean think about it. There's probably been names. You know, it's been around so long. Like tribes that found it, they had. There's probably been thousands. of yeah, names yeah, exactly, throughout yeah. history that we don't even know because it grows. I mean, it just grows from the ground everywhere, and shit man, everywhere. I heard that good weed comes from Afghanistan. So I was thinking about the Egyptians, man, why that he would be in the Egyptians. But the Egyptians, I'm thinking now, they were very, very uh, good at, like, um, you know, finding the root of things and, like, oils. They were good with flaxseed well, oils we'll take, and hemp seed oils. Exactly. Yeah, so they yeah. used, Identifying like, lotions and I, spas and all that stuff. They were really, like, good. They were really clean, like, unlike a lot of people think. So maybe that was what they were using it for, man. They were yeah. cannabis seed oil. You think about, like, hieroglyphs. You think about, like, identifying Shh. plants that, that can, like, create a certain pigment or or Taming, identifying taming plants animals you know what the, Egy- the egyptians tamed eagles man camels like, like dude they like yeah they would have like bird watches to help them hunt man there's like guys out there in the sahara you know man I don't they know. said buddha ate a fucking seed daily marijuana buddha. seed no shit huh? yeah like in a salad and shit that's fucking, that's <laughs> how he, maybe that's how he was trying to reach nirvana bro <laughs> You know that he's like hey, you guys put my fucking weed seeds like, in I'd this like shit. To know how much Buddha you know actually weighed in real life? Dude, that fool was sterile as fuck. Fun you know that fool didn't have any kids, man. I did not know that. <laughs> he didn't have any kids. <laughs> used to, yeah, for real, right? You know, had a lot of kids. Genghis Khan. Genghis Khan. Yeah. It was a prolific breeder. For real, they see like he greatest like, of all time. He's one in like every twenty four people is <laughs> like, like some kind of six percent of the population. Yeah, he's bro, like, has dude. his DNA, dude. That, <laughs> oh yeah, for real. This year, uh, John Oliver. He's like, hey, 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 that guy. Fucks. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> that guy fucks. <laughs> yeah, that's and you know shit. that dude smoked a lot of weed too. Dude, hell probably. yeah, the, Mon- the Mongolians. They should, the Mongolians? They should name some hell fucking yeah. a strain that bro, the Kong or the Genghis. Yeah, there is, there is, <laughs> there is <a laughs> the Genghis can, <laughs> the Genghis can, bro. Shit will knock you G- up and yeah, you right. <laughs> the Genghis Ganja <laughs> invade your village and take all your women. Yeah. All right, man. Let's see. Let's play a game, bro. Let's play this game called Pass the Duchy to the Left Hand Side. Ooh. All right. Pass it. And it's a memory game, bro. It's a memory game. Uh, We're going to see if marijuana has affected our memory. Oh, damn. Okay. So we're going to check it out, okay? Yes. We're going to name a strain. Okay. I'll I'll start start with me, okay? I'll name a strain. You got to repeat that and add something to it. Okay. And continue it. Okay, okay, we're just gonna go in the circle. Damn, how many strains do I? I know, know like, I don't, how many do I? Okay. Know, how many do I know? <laughs> okay, go ahead. You know, we should fucking play a game. And strains annoy me. Do some way. Mexican. It's really just like a can name. I just say that like, strains annoy the hell out of me. Everyone is lying about their strain. They don't know what the fuck they, it is. Yeah. Man. Come on, it's like unless it comes from a shop and you grew this shit from like stop it. Oh, this is you know zap number five back. Yeah, flip, yeah, 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 yeah. Seventy five like sideways. That. You know, 007. I got that off my chest. We can play now. Better than these fucking nicotine vapes, man, that they're selling nowadays. These, I, I promise you, these these cause cancer. I got it. Well, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> these definitely <laughs> cause cancer. Like, there's no like, yeah, five percent nicotine. Nicotine is so uh, strong, yeah. and it's like, it's like it's after 
So it's more addictive than crack. Crack is like ninety eight point like three percent addictive rate, you know, and nicotine is fucking like ninety nine percent. That's one of the most addictive substances known to man, and they are allowed to freely sell that every single day, make money off of it, make gains off of it, and you know they know that their their market is teenagers. That's why all these little vapes are fucking cool wa- colors. Watermelon fizzy pop, you know, like pineapple, you know, fucking orgy. I don't know whatever the fucking flavors are, but. You get what I'm saying, dude. No, I totally it, get it. It's already out there. It's predatory marketing, and it's it's targeted towards the youth, and then everyone acts, you know, like super innocent about it. When you talk about weed, oh my god, I would never, I would never live in a society that would everything, bro. You think about legalize and regulate the devil's lettuce? How dare you? You think about TV? You think about everything <laughs> out there? You? All marketed towards kids. Why? Because kids influence their parents to buy you know, shit. Like you know what? Especially Big time the, by oh saying, God, "I want that." Last tidbit: We got to get this in there. The fucking gun laws changing right now in Texas. Y'all see that con- concealed carry shit? Yeah, yeah man. that means everyone can conceal carry, conceal or open without a carry license, without a license. And you know, with the gun show loophole, pretty much yeah. anyone can go buy a fucking gun over the age of eighteen with like five hundred dollars cash and a valid Texas ID. No paperwork. I just mean, gotta flash that shit real quick. Pay him the cash. Walk out. These fools are not. If more people smoke weed, weed <laughs> yeah, more these fools are not smoking smoke weed, weed enough, dude. Right. They would calm down and stop arming themselves, and you know, freaking out, joining for civil war. Like, go be creative, man. You know, put all that energy into, into something. It's a trip, dude. So it's, it's, that, I wanted to put that in there, man. I, I thought about that, man. If, if you know, that was a little bit more prevalent. I feel like people would be a little more chill. I think that's. All right, man. Let's get into this. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. It's just because of like where I pass the duchy, pass the duchy. Let's do the Mexican sweat, Mexican sweat edition. All right, purple haze, Uh, Maui Wowie. No, you got no. Okay, 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 okay. okay. I've already forgot, right? So purple haze, Maui Wowie. All right, purple haze, Maui Wowie, Gorilla Glue. Purple haze, Maui Wowie, Gorilla Glue, Pineapple Express. <laughs> purple purple haze. You looked at pur- you like pur- you said Purple it. haze, Maui Waui, Gorilla Glue, Pineapple Express. Yeah. Perf- and was, um uh, red hair. <laughs> red hair. <laughs> Alright, uh purple haze, pineapple oh fuck, see? Yeah. <laughs> you no, know, you're doing with the piece. Purple haze, uh Maui Waui, Gorilla Glue, Pineapple Express, red hair, and uh we'll do kickflip number seven. Okay. It has to have all these syllables in it, motherfucker. I know, man. We're making it this hard. I think we should restart <laughs> with <laughs> some No, 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 I keep it going. Purple haze, Maui Waui, Gorilla Glue. Oh shit. Um, Pineapple Express, red hair. What the fuck did you just say? Right kick, now, kick flip, 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 flip fifty seven. Kick flip number seven. Yeah, yeah. kick oh, flip damn. number seven. <laughs> and uh, gelato. <laughs> oh my gosh! Damn. Okay. All right. Purple haze. Maui Waui. Gorilla glue. Pineapple Express. Red hair. Kip flip number seven. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then the other one is give me the hold on, hold on. I got and then You got them all down here. Oh, no. Wash <laughs> we, we made it to seven. We made it to seven. <laughs> what was what was it? The last one. Yeah, which was, was the one? Gelato. Gelato. God, the most basic. All right, let's see. Let's see. Uh, okay, add yours. Though. But let me add mine. Okay, so oh, gelato. Shit, I and oh shit, I don't even know what the fuck. <laughs> I don't even. <laughs> I can't even think of any other name. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> so many other street names. Oh man! All right, all right, all right. We should have done something more simple, like <laughs> we, we didn't think this out. Well, like anyway, different types right, of cars. Purple heads. Purple heads. Gorilla Glue. No, 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 no. It was um, Maui Waui. That was it. Yeah, man, man that was psh, bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Purple Haze, Maui Waui, Gorilla Glue. Uh, man. It, it Pineapple was, Express. Pineapple Express, Red Hair. Damn, y'all, y'all are better than me, man. Shit, uh, red Hair. What do we say after that? Gelato. 
kick flip no, no, number, number seven. Kick flip number seven was my own. <laughs> See, what? I was trying to throw in hard ones. I made it hard for myself. All right. Let's restart. Let's try a new one. <laughs> <laughs> let's try a new one. Come on. We, we got this. Let's okay, do it. Let's, let's do, do it. Okay, like, no. like better known names, I think. You know, we'll stay away from We it. can't even. No, we, all, we, all we can do is just what we think of. It's just like. All right, all <laughs> I can't right, think right, of shit. All right. I'll uh, What's a good one? Watermelon. God, oh, no, I'm <laughs> just, 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 just I might as well just back out. Schnozberries. <laughs> yeah, I don't know that. Schnozberries. <laughs> Schnozberries. All right, man. Let's just wrap it up. Um, yeah, yeah. Final words. Any words of wisdom? Open your green eye. And no matter what you do out there, be safe doing it. You know, think it through a little bit. You know, <laughs> if you're causing a little trouble, kicking up a little dust. You know, hey, that's okay. Once in a while, just uh, make sure that you're uh, you're focused. You know, at least on something. At least on keeping your ass out of trouble. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know what? Actually, there was there's one thing. Like before we wrap it up, there was one thing. Like I would like to like kind of talk about oh sure right. it's like like the jams bro okay like it was oh, almost the like jam. the experience yeah, we knew, we talk about it was jams. almost like the experience wasn't like fully fully on bro unless you was had like them weed smoking jams bro for me like cypress hill bro like hits from the fucking oh, bong bro i want to get high so high also it's from the ball you hear, that, yeah, <laughs> you hear that melody in the background now that <laughs> yeah yeah man. dude snoop dog dr dre hits uh, the chronic dude, the have, chronic dude, you have to smoke weed every day yep. i mean they put that in songs that are like techno beats that have nothing to do like you'll, yeah. you'll, you'll see that at a rave job that is like it's like in, it's in the pop smoke, culture smoke weed now. Every dude, day. yeah like, it's just out there dude, dude it's just like a phrase bob marley like yeah. big Mar icons bro <gasps> i remember dude. zeppelin was like was the shit because i mean yeah, yeah. like when Zeppelin. We would blaze it. Ooh. We would go to this fool's house, like uh, in the, he would like in the in the backyard. It was had like a shack, and so he would just bump like that that Led Zeppelin dude. And so that's why I like that that and song, man. Black Dog. You know what I'm saying? Like communication oh, breakdown, like stuff like that. Like I always like, associate with like getting blazed. Yeah, you said Bob Marley and the whole like you, you got it. We got to pop Peter to, uh, Peter Tosh, man. You know the the Whalers, dude. Uh, was mm -hmm. it? I think John mm -hmm. Whaler. He just died, didn't he? I think so. The third member. Yeah, I never remember his name, shit, man. No, but uh, what is it like? Yeah, legalize it, you know, by Peter Tosh, man, or want wanted dead or alive. It's not really a weed song, but man, that was one of the best renders of, of uh, you know, mm. yeah, man. Johnny Be Good. You get those old man. That was some real music, man. Reggae is, you know, soulful, soulful music. Well, think about like it's the the Caribbeans and all those fools that were messing around with like those like like loops and all that kind of yeah, stuff yeah, that really invented like because uh, that invented like hip hop because. Oh, the um, dance hall. DJ Cool Herc, like the fool that kind of like popped it off with like DJing back in the 70s mm -hmm. in New York. That fool I, apparently was like from the Caribbean and stuff. So he was kind of like, makes sense, he was kind of like, uh, I can't remember the, the Godfather though, the dude that actually kind of did it. But that's where that shit like leaked into like New York style, like R&B, like Sam, instead of like sampling like island beats uh -huh. and do, 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 you know, all that shit. Like fucking steel drums and all that shit right. <laughs> you know he's sampling like fucking you know like james brown and shit like yeah. that you know funky, what i mean like funky, little richard funky, you know what yeah. i'm saying yeah. so speaking, it's like, i love the you know speaking of hip-hop in new york um r.i.p dmx too dmx <sighs> bro man you know what i mean it's sad bro it's tragic I, I, I would I say on him, man. i, grew I would up on say DMX. uh you know what i mean 90s dude exactly yeah, right man i would say you know what just you know his soundtrack was in video games be careful man with drugs and shit like that man for real for real that's real shit up you know, um, Stick to the organic, man. You know, yeah. if it comes from the earth, hey, it's a good, you know. <laughs> yeah, man. That it gets a lot more dangerous. The thing is, too, though, you know, the like, the only reason why people trip, I think, is like, there's not like when we was doing it. I guess yeah, we had someone, at least someone, not watching out for us. So we were kind of doing it all by ourselves. So we almost kind of had to watch out for ourselves. So it's like if this shit was more out in the open. You know what I'm saying? You wouldn't have, like, people, like, messing around with it then when they're not supposed to be doing it or by themselves. You know what I'm saying? Kind of bringing them along, kind of showing them, like, the ropes I, at I first. Can you know, I can tell you now it's eventually going to be where at some point you're going to have, like, some stony parents that raise a kid. And it's going to be like, oh, my kid's 16 now. Hey, go ahead and have exactly. a beer. Exactly. You know what I'm sunny. saying? Yeah. Hey, let's yeah. go and have a joint in the back. You know, like, For that sure. setting, man, that is the way to, you know, like... That's so much safer than fucking duck, ducking and dodging through back alleyways and, you know, like uh, yeah. just risk of getting yeah. caught and, you know, jumping fences, whatever the hell you're out there doing. Exactly. You'll have someone that is, like, looking out for you. you this know? is, like, it's a like, good nostalgia. It'll, it'll be, like, it'll be re out in the open. Reminiscing. So, yeah, so people actually talk about it. There'll be, like, specials on, like, 
how do you talk to your son about you know smoking weed on this week's fucking right, episode of like that. Modern like Family that or some shit like yeah. that? You know that, what I mean? Like that music, scene of half bake. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> the oh. dad's trying like, to figure out how to bond with his son. <laughs> he's like, Dad's over here talking up, figuring out how to bond with his son. I love the juniors co- next oh, door. Oh, we got to <laughs> talk about those old corny ass commercials real quick. That, where did you learn this, son? I oh. learned it from watching you, Dad. <laughs> 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 no, <laughs> my favorite man. <laughs> this is your brain on drugs. Yeah, this is, dude, you're like, bro, that's <laughs> brand. That's just making me hungry, man. Dude, for real. I remember, like, oh damn, look at that's that fucking. I was in the. I was part of the dare program, man. Hey, didn't work. <laughs> that shit started with us, bro. That yeah. shit's <laughs> beautiful. Yeah, I remember that. Like, brainwash like, us, man. Always it's say a, yes on a dare. <laughs> no, <it's> not. <laughs> not 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 good advice, children. Not, no. not good advice. <laughs> But he means like in the <laughs> <laughs> no, in the sense that. of the program, <laughs> like don't no, their motto is like just say no. <laughs> drug awareness, red ribbon, week. red yeah. <laughs> red ribbon. Week. You promised to be drug free. Oh, by the way, now that you're out of high school, here's all these uh, you know Percocets and legal shit, and you know alcohol is yeah. fine. No, that's not a drug. Percocet, but but Miley, no, Percocet. nothing illegal. Uh. Uh. Uh, mask yeah, yeah, yeah. Mask, mask on. <laughs> mask no, 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 2021. Mask I mean, on. no, mask, mask on, mask on, mask on, mask on, mask on, on. <laughs> mask on. Yeah. Mask on. Yeah. yeah, mask on. Yeah. Coronavirus. Uh, fucking make a song. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. All right, man. This but is like, fun. This okay, is fun, so man. the up the up point to smoking weed too is you do have a lot of fun. You're gonna laugh, man. Laughter is essentially healthy. Like this when you're true. laughing, you 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 know, good endorphins released in your brain. You are, I feel like you are more creative. But I think there is a downside to everything, especially like if you're smoking. You know, like like in Texas, you know, home of the blunts, home of the rillos. Mm-hmm. Yeah, those blunts aren't healthy. Oh, yeah, that's, that's like true. Smi- that's like smoking a pack a day, depending on how how often you smoke. Those. Right? Those, yeah. You know, white owls, swish sweets. I'm talking about you, man. Y'all know, y'all know, y'all know who I'm talking about. Those backwoods characters, you know, man. That's just straight, like <laughs> everywhere, dude. It's like there. There was this show that show Atlanta. Yeah, I'm not they was sit like, here and act like it's perfectly healthy, but it's no, it's no worse than what is already legal and out there. What people are already doing. Right. Or, or so, like, well, okay, well, like, what would you think is like the more preferred <laughs> way of like smoking? Oh, like, like the safest. Yeah, like, all right, would you... Vaporizing. Like, vape. Like, bong hits. Nah. Bong hits. Well, yeah, bong yeah, hits. Bong hits. I mean, you really shit. ingest... I mean, like, would you... Pref- like, in the future, like, they're going to be fucking looking back on us and being like, damn, these fuckers used to light it and then breathe it into their lungs and shit? <laughs> oh, yeah, for real. Nah, like, you're probably right. Yeah. Well, like, what do you like, think would oh be... Oh, my God, did he just say foil pipe? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh exactly, God. yeah. <laughs> did he just say that? <laughs> Right, they're gonna be like, "Is he fucking messed up?" This is why he talks like that. <laughs> <laughs> Probably is why we talk. That. <laughs> but like, um, what do you think is gonna be like the the way of? Yeah, it's gonna of, be all vapor, dude. It's gonna be all all. E- you think e- it's gonna be a pill e-cigarette. at some point? They're oh, gonna be like, they "Yo, look, let me take a couple of." They already have this. Like, For real, saying, like, have but this. like, as with the potency. That's of, what like, the smoking. Matrix then show you, bro. The green pill. The green, the green pill. pill. <laughs> the green pill. <laughs> Good one. Good one. That was so you fucking, oh, you left it, man. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. I, thought he did. I thought he did that move. <laughs> I thought he was leaving him hanging. Oh, man. Oh, that's, 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 I thought you were doing like the Matrix. Does <laughs> man want to make you slow, children? Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know. the. Uh, the I was definitely slow. The facts yeah. are still in the air on that one. This dude thought he was Neo. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, okay. So, like, basically, I've been smoking since I was a little kid. I've been doing this. I've been smoking since I was a little kid, bro. And, like. You bought that life. I also, like, I. I also did stop smoking for like the 10 years that I went to like, you know, college and school and stuff. So I I wonder like did being exposed to marijuana too soon Early. That like mess up my kind of is, development you is, know what i'm there talking is about research so there's research if you start mm-hmm. as an early team when your brain is developing just like anything hence why if it was regulated and you know you mm-hmm. had to wait till you were exactly. 18 we've already been over that 21 or whatever yeah. it would help out teenagers but you know no one gives a shit about that one but but no there is research on, on saying that it, it it could you know hinder brain function or you know do yeah, certain right. things like that honestly i think I think if you, it's to the point with any substance where you have to do it every day, or where you, you know, you're indulging it every day, every aspect, you know, that it's already too much. Right. If you, if you, you know, it, it should be like beer, man. I can have a beer at a party on a Friday night, relaxing. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. And, and no one's, you know, nothing's gonna happen. I, I go to work Monday morning, everything's fine. You know what I mean? Right. That that's how that should be. Where 
you talk about crossing that line with other substances, then you're talking about substance abuse. And there, you know, you got to be honest about that. That's the problem is a lot of, a lot of advocates out there are not honest about those draw sides. And I care about that as well. Cause I, I don't want I mean, yeah, to I care about like, to yeah. shit like that. You know what I mean? Same with yeah. vape, same with all that. No matter what you choose to indulge in, you should know the risks. Absolutely. Inherently. You know what I mean? Absolutely. So, so there is risks, but same with everything. But I think honestly, if you're asking me personally, due to all the research, everything that I've you know learned and known, you know, uh, yeah, the the risks are minor compared to those of cigarettes, alcohol, I, exactly, <laughs> you know exactly, I mean? uh, opioids, things that are things that are out there and pushed on the public daily. So that's why I think like pushing for like legalization or having it legal means that like you know you're not no, it's not going to be any more fucking group of little kids like peer pressuring and like to prove that they're fucking cool at fucking twelve years old and shit like that. You know what yeah, I mean? Because it's yeah. not going to be like even that thing. You know, like let kids be kids again, man. Yeah. Good buds stick together. Stop, yes, stop, good buds stop, stick together. Stop policing a good time. Word. Love me.